Greg Jarrett, and you are in the strategy room. Baltimore's mayor now facing new criticism over her handling of protests that turned to rioting and looting this week. Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake is pushing back, though, this morning against critics who say she was playing politics instead of focusing on securing the city in the initial hours. Here now with their take are political strategists Brad Blakeman and Joe Lestingy. Gentlemen, good to see you. Brad, see you. Fox News has learned from a senior law enforcement source that the mayor, according to this source, gave a stand-down direct order to the chief of police on Monday, tying his hands and, of course, the hands of police officers whose lives were at risk out on the streets during this violence and rioting. If that's proven... Is that a pretty serious act of misfeasance or malfeasance by the mayor? You, you bet. And there's only uh, one police department that the citizens can count on. And if that order was given to stand down, then what about the shop owners, the mom and pops and the CVSs and all the damage that was done, the, more than 200 cars? Um, the, the people, if they can't rely on their police to protect them, where do they go? What do they do? And how do you restore order and respect for a, for a mayor who basically tells the looters and the criminals, you can have at it, and, and when you've had enough, uh, then we'll send the police back on the streets. And nothing was more clear than watching Leland Vittard uh, two nights ago showing exactly the stand down of the police, not responding to crimes that were being committed right. as we watched it. Well, somebody was telling police to stand down because we could watch them yes. stand down and really do nothing, Joe. But beyond that, and of course the, the, the mayor is denying the stand-down order, but yeah. what she was caught on videotape saying uh, is essentially give space to those, quote, who wish to destroy. Now, she said that over the weekend. Did she mm -hmm. give a green light, either wittingly or unwittingly, to the thugs who were committing acts of violence? I think I, I I don't think she did. I think the quote there is a little out of context. She had meant, she was talking about the peaceful protest, keeping them safe and and give them room to to, to get out of the way and keep them safe from the cars. Wish and the to destroy and though were her words. It's destroy it, is the it, operative word. There is nothing in Baltimore right now that appears to be good, and the mayor's got some some problems to deal with that are very very serious. I think the the focus still needs to main, be maintained on maintain, restoring order, which she's now working with the governor to do, and then also why this occurred in the first place. There are a lot of things here that need to be discussed. They're going to be coming out over the next few days. This is not a pretty situation. Everyone in Baltimore needs to re, remain calm and safe, uh, and I think that's everyone's first priority now. You know, Brad, on Saturday. It got out of hand, and there were acts of violence. Mm -hmm. And so it was only a matter of time and a question of common sense to be able to uh, predict that on Monday, the day of the funeral, why, of course, things could easily get out of hand. They had 48 hours to prepare. Um, are, are you puzzled as to why they did not? I, I'm, I'm beyond puzzled. It's, it's, it's incompetence at its finest. It's letting the inmates run the asylum. Uh, all, look, they've had tutorials in this. They've had Ferguson and other places in Florida and elsewhere, Chicago, where the first 24 hours, you can pretty much predict what's going to happen. Overwhelming force should have been brought down on those communities. And when I mean force, I mean the appearance of force and necessary force for lawbreakers if it's necessary. But you can always pull officers back they should have called out the National Guard. They know what Baltimore is like in these neighborhoods when there isn't a problem. You, and it's only magnified when there is. And when you, have, when you, when you know that, that gangs are meeting, the Bloods and the Crips and others, and, and, and they've put these, these uh, orders out on the street to get cops and, and, and other acts of violence, they're telling you exactly what they're going to do. Yeah. Joe, what do you think of that? I mean, look, 48 mm -hmm. hours to prepare, and it looks yeah. as though they sort of sat on their hands. Well, th this is a situation I don't think that anyone hoped would get. we would get to. I mean, no one wanted this. And we, they were hoping that things could be peaceful. You had calls from hoping. the family. The, I mean, quest gee, the question you have, though, and the problem you, you have... What's that? Hope doesn't do much for you. You're, you're, no, you're right. You're right. But the problem you have is this all started because of police brutality. So you're going to install more, more police officers no, we don't on the street know that, to maintain Joe. order to, we to don't stoke know that. the flame? 
So, I mean, this is th- this is a situation where you have the authorities, in this case the police, that, uh, you know, this is where this has all come up. Let's let, This has all come up from the, issue, the situation with Freddie Gray and dealing with that s- scenario. So putting more police on their streets yeah. where this is a community that already feels this, this sort of distrust towards the police and, and, and saying maintain order may have been a, it, it may have added more fl- fuel right. to this flame. There could have, know, it could have been more dangerous. So it's question, a delicate balance. Hindsight's question, always 20 Brad, 20. You know, what about Joe's point here that the, the silence uh, that took place ever since Freddie Gray was arrested, 80% spinal cord severed, and then he dies days later, and yet there has been no explanation uh, just conspicuous silence from law enforcement about what happened. Didn't that, to a great extent, really inflame the violence? Absolutely. Uh, they, they should have been all over this. Uh, the, the appearance of, yeah. of a healthy person going into a, a van and then coming out with a severed spinal cord doesn't pass the smell test. And they should have come down hard and quick and fast in getting to the bottom of this and then disseminating the information as it was available. Should have, should have been done and, and certainly because it wasn't done, added fuel to the fire in addition yeah, yeah. to what the mayor had, had not done and had been incompetent right. in her duties. Gentlemen, got to leave it at that. Brad and Joe, great to see you. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thank Check out foxnews.com for more on this developing story. I'm Greg Jarrett. Thanks for watching.